This is 69 year old male with a left direct inguinal hernia. You can see the defect there. For the directs, I generally don't go too crazy with my lateral dissection because I'm not trying to create what I call the holster for the lateral part of the mesh. I cheat more to the medial side. Getting into the right tissue plane is everything in the robotic inguinal world. I spend more time in the beginning of the case just making sure I'm in the right pocket, the right plane, so then you can just kind of run it down south. You start jumping across tissue planes, it distorts it, you get a lot of bleeding, and the next thing you know you have a little bit of pain that you have to deal with. You'll see here, I'm just kind of draping down, pulling down, and you can see this defect's relatively small. Nonetheless, the guy was in a significant amount of pain. Just taking it off the spermatic cord here. Doing my floor dissection, as I call it. Here I'm coming around the corner, staying close. And you can see my corona mortis vein that goes from north to south there. I'm going to make sure I get a stitch medial to that, between that and the iliac. Again, high lateral, not too crazy about placement. I just want to make sure I'm well above the myopectineal orifice. I don't want any nerve irritation from that mesh. And again, I'm just checking to make sure where the vascular structures are. And that's it, my triangle of fixation. And again, flap closure.